little problem with my bush hog that I wanted to share and uh, I've gotten a lot of use out of watching other videos people give suggestions how to solve problems so what happened was I was bush hogging in a wooded area hit a stump well it started shaking violently so I knew something was wrong but I could tell uh, and I'll show you in a second here this uh, blade holder assembly was it was different relative to this as far as the height goes from one side to the other. I couldn't tell if the spine shaft on the gearbox was bent or the blade holder assembly was bent. I'll show you here what I got into. And by the way, the bush hog manual says for the blades you just take the nut off and uh, uh, if you have any problem with it you can drive the bolts out through a hole there. Hopeless. Okay, had to split the nuts and uh, I'll show you what they look like closer up. I gave up on that, got both the nuts off, couldn't get the bolts out. So I said, well, I'll take the whole blade holder assembly off. That didn't work either. And the nut was, a, it was like it was welded on. I'll show you what that looks like. I had to split it. Okay, this is the blade holder assembly. Of course, the bush hog is upside down, as you can see. I after with the right side up trying to get those uh, nuts off of here and these bolts out um, and this is what they look like I drill a was able to do is drill a hole in them and then split them with a cold steel chisel still couldn't get the blades off so that's when I flip the bush hog upside down get better access to it I tried my impact wrench cheater bars everything in the world to get this crown nut off this right here now that was on top of this spine shaft this is after the fact um, the bush hog manual here it says take the cotter pin out of the crown nut unscrew it and just get a hold of it and wiggle it off so that's insanity no way so I had to split this nut and had a heck of a time I couldn't get a good enough access to it so what I did was I kind of larger opening here in this what they call the stump jumper and there's a piece of it over there I used a diamond blade in my circular saw put an acetylene torch on on it on the just not enough heat into it good for heating a small spot didn't work so um, what I did that's when I went ahead that's the reason I've got these this tractor here is I suspended this stump jumper blade holder assembly with the forks my pallet forks on my tractor which are very handy by the way so i had basically the whole weight of the bush hog hanging on this on top of that spine shaft beat on it with sledgehammer wouldn't do anything settling torch wouldn't help so i use this propane burner which really puts the heat to it and I left it on there for about 15 minutes. Of course, nothing. I left it on for about 15 minutes, got the sledgehammer, and put a uh, just a galvanized um, pipe cap on that so I wouldn't tear up the threads. And hit it really clobbered sledgehammer, and it popped loose, finally. So I hope this gives some people some ideas. You know, obviously, you gotta be careful doing something like this, because when it popped loose, the bush hog dropped. I had blocks here to help support it, but you could get your fingers mashed or something. So you got to be very careful. So um, hope that gives uh, gives people some ideas. And unfortunately, I found out when I rotate the uh, drive line on the gearbox, that spine shaft is not straight. It's obviously bent. So that means I'm going to have to either get it rebuilt or replace the uh, gearbox assembly. Hope this helps people working on something like this and gives you some ideas. And I appreciate everybody else's videos. And this is a little closer look at the stump jumper. These are the bolts. I had to split the nuts to get them off of the blade holder. This bolt still has to be driven out of the blade holder. That's going to be another challenge. I don't like talking about my mistakes, 
but we can all learn from our mistakes. I had no problem using the pallet forks to flip the bush hog over and was able to, as mentioned earlier, get the stump jumper off that way. But then I tried to use the pallet forks to flip it back right side up and the forks got hung up in the framework there, the bracing. And as you can see, it's all bent out of shape. So now I not only have to work on the gearbox, I got to work on the bracing there in that framework. Probably still cheaper than buying a new bush hog, but uh, this just shows you what complacency can do. So anyway, again, uh, I uh, please don't make the same mistake I made uh, and just be a little more careful when you, you're flipping your bush hog around. And uh, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And uh, if you would, uh, there's a link at the end of the video that you can click on and see some of our other videos. Appreciate it. Thank you.